hello students welcome to our today's class in the today's class we are going to learn about what is reflection in chemistry so generally you know very well this process we use in organic chemistry whatever what is that reflection process first we see okay the process of heating a mixture liquid mixture you have to remember a liquid mixture the process of heating a liquid mixture in a flask you see this flask in this flask okay which contains are in a flask provide with a condenser this is upside one is there no that is our condenser okay so what is going on here whenever you heat the liquid mixture here in that liquid mixture one of one liquid which is having low boiling point it rise up and get condensed and come back into the same flask have you got it that means in this type of equipment we do reflection in this reflection what we are doing is a liquid mixture if you heat that in that liquid mixture one liquid rise up rise up means is mean evaporated and get condensed back into the flask here condenser you know very well water in and water out purpose this is our condenser first uh, liquid get evaporated due to this condenser what will happen that evaporated liquid again get condensed again get condensed have you got it see this here at the bottom side we are heating that indirectly heating and upside is open end so why because in this process pressure may create so that's why to avoid that increasing in the pressure inside upside end top side end is open okay chemical compounds never go out but only created pressure will go out okay so now one more point is uh, where should we use this process you know very well all organic comp organic reactions takes place slowly okay why because organic compounds are nothing but a co all organic compounds mostly 99% what covalent compounds covalent compounds involving in the slow reaction to increase the speed of the reaction speed of the reaction we are generally we heat it okay so to speed up the reaction generally we use temperature or heat up so whenever you heat it automatically what will happen these organic compounds are having low boiling points again twist is there so organic compounds are having low boiling point due to this low boiling point they get volatile easily have you got it so reaction is slow to to increase the speed of the reaction if you heat it organic compounds get volatile and easily get uh, evaporated have you got it so to stop these things automatically if they evaporated easily out here your product yield is very less have you got it product yield is very less is it clear so to stop this such type of things we are using reflection in the reflection what's going on here in the reflection so liquid compound or whatever it is which is having low boiling point it uh, evaporated and uh, condenser is arranged upside no that's why again they what evaporated substance condensed and enter into the same flask that's why we use this generally this reflection we use in alcoholic chemical reactions and organic compounds which contains low boiling points for such point such type of a compounds point of view we use what reflection okay thanks for watching